Back in the 1980s, there was a character that appeared on our TV screens called Metal Mickey. He was a friendly robot that chatted and joked with children, and at its height, the show attracted 12 million viewers. 20 years later, saw the arrival of Robot Dogs, again aimed at children to make robots seem friendly and invite children to interact with the bots and suddenly robots were everywhere. Filling up the car with petrol used to be a pleasant experience. The petrol pump attendant was there waiting, always ready with a warm smile, some friendly banter and also offering extra services such as windscreen washing and oil checks. Today, they are few and far between, and indeed in large corporation garages have disappeared altogether. It's now self-service. Paying for shopping at a supermarket used to be a pleasant experience. The checkout or cashier always had a polite word and a smile. Today, there are very few cashier tills left, but rows of self-service tills perhaps to cut down on staff costs and save space so more products can be thrust upon us and we can continue to consume at a faster rate than before, increasing profits even further. Mm. Often the self-service tills don't work and need personnel to instruct the people and help people with using them. So perhaps this is pointless, but it's self-service all the same. We now see self-service in banks, in doctor surgeries, if we can get through the door, and a huge list of other services where there was once human interaction. Some would argue that it's to teach humanity how to stand on their own two feet and to find our own solutions to problems. Really? We now find ourselves having virtual conversations online with bots telling us what numbers to press and instructing us what to do. How is that teaching anybody to solve their problems? How is that teaching critical thinking? Today, we're being introduced to robot cars, robot waiters, robot crop pickers, robot assembly line operators, amongst many others. We're told that millions more jobs are being created. Uh-huh, where? Robots don't need a salary to do their work, so where are these jobs going to come from? It's true that robots can be useful, especially in operating theatres. Here, humanity can work with the help of robots to achieve great things, working alongside, together as part of a team, but not to replace us and make us unemployed. People need people and need the interactions of other people in their communities with face-to-face -face communication. In this way, it should be exactly as the great creator intended it to be. We're not gonna be exterminated and we're not all gonna disappear.